Oh, what is going on, everybody? Hello. It is Pixbiters here, and welcome to the Monster Camp demo. Yes. Now, for those of you that have been around for a long time for us, like some of you found us way originally back, uh, one of our big first videos was when the Monster Camp slash Monster Prom 2 Monster Holidays Kickstarter started. Yes. They had a Monster Camp kind of demo that like, was, it was like tied a teaser to the, yeah, they called thing. it a demo, but it was a lot more of a teaser that was built like Monster Prom in a way that kind of presented what they were, their goals were with the game. But as we're recording this, it's today, but when you see this, it'll be tomorrow. They've released a more semi, a more official demo. It's still pretty small, apparently. Yeah, because they're still but, working their butts off on it. Yes, but this is actually like a demo that has like a gameplay styling preview of Monster Camp. So we're going to hit the go button and play this. And Monster Prime was near and dear to our hearts. So yes, I is. cannot wait for this. I know it's going to be so good. Hi, welcome to the Monster Camp demo. This small hot mess small. is just two turns <laughs> to let you save us some of the content this sequel will bring. There are nine events with some mild surprises, but the final game will include 360 events, over 50 characters, over 20 secret endings, and over 40 drinks, two prologue mini games, lots of new special outfits, and a good bunch of cool surprises we cannot reveal yet. Ooh. So. While we finish baking this weird and wonderful cake, please enjoy this tiny slice we prepared, to, prepared today just for you. Ooh. Cool, thank you. I appreciate it. Blue, aka right. Vicky. Yes, where are we gonna go? I don't know, I mean, I imagine they would say if this was like the, I don't know, cause they made all new characters. Though. Okay, anyways, let's go ahead and uh, 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 you can mm. be Vicky, where are you gonna go? Uh, even though I'm usually us, but... Well, yeah, but we, we're all four right now, technically, Let's so... Let's see... We have the woods? The, the Camp Dome! The Camp Dome, let's go to the Camp Dome. Woo! That day, you join the merciless trials of the Camp Dome! Is your this Hunger Games now? <laughs> your team is faced with a potato sack race. Oh, God. <laughs> it seems easy, but this is the Camp Dome, and so the potato sacks are filled with swarms of bees. Oh, dear! Your teammates are discouraged, but both because oh. they're not fond of bees and because the enemy team is mostly comprised by sentient bees. Oh. Aren't all bees sentient anyway? Giving them a clear <laughs> advantage over you. <laughs> <laughs> it all looks dire for you, but you use your cut. You use your cunning to remind the enemy team that the bee population of Earth is inexplicably decreasing, and bees are heading towards unavoidable extinction. Yeah. This fact really messes with the enemy team's heads, giving you the edge you need to win. Your nest leadership skills great you plus two charm. Ooh. <laughs> it's international rivalries make us stronger day. So you <laughs> spent the afternoon competing against camp 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 rival camp, camp in a series not, of camp Not camp camp. camp that's different. <laughs> I camp, wish. Camp Rival Camp. <laughs> camp Camp and Monster Camp crossover. Oh That'd my be amazing. god. Just Michael, what the fuck? The okay. world is not ready for that. No, it's all come down to the tiebreaker, the dreaded climbing wall. Even the slightest mistake can result in the fall of four, five, even six feet. Terrifying. <gasps> That's up. Oh. <laughs> Calculester is getting ready to climb the wall, and he's facing off against Morty the Minotaur. Camp Rival Camp is on a hypersexualized <laughs> Minotaur. <laughs> You're busy helping Morty rub his scented <laughs> climbing oil all over his oh, no. armpits and inner thighs when suddenly... <laughs> <laughs> I, uh... Oh my god! Wait, this robot's my opponent? That's complete bullshit! And trust me, I know bullshit! I deal with it literally every day! Oh my god! The robot's arms are made of metal! Which is super strong! Almost like my, almost as strong as my lustful urges. Jesus Christ. And he has a computer head that can tell him how to climb a wall by using internet? It's an unfair advantage. He's just a machine someone built. I earned my muscles being born with fingers and bull genetics. And I purchased stories of my inheritance. Heart, butt cheeks. <laughs> it's, that is amazing. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I'm afraid this undeniably attractive minotaur is right. I was created with these appendages, and they are optimized for motor strength and dexterity. I have downloaded about 20,000 YouTube videos about climbing techniques. Oh, God. Setting status to crushing guilt over my unearned privilege. Unearned privilege. Whatever, buttons. You gotta nerf yourself if you want, to be, you want this to be a fair contest. Oh, my God. Nerf myself. I understand the logic, but I am unsure how to achieve a nerf, unless you mean that I should load some foam bullets and then I gotta yeah. shoot them at my own face. No, you gotta make it harder for yourself to climb the wall. Robots got screws, right? Maybe take out all your screws. I'll even take off my underwear to make it fair. Oh God. Um, um no. <laughs> yeah. Know? Oh God. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. Help Calculus think of a better way to nerf himself before this video game becomes outright man bull robot pornography. Uh. Um, Install Windows 95 new operating system. 
or disable calculations antivirus program. From now on, you can only deal with viruses through alternative medicine. Oh god, what are my stats? I haven't played this, and my charm is high. Let's see, there's five, four, five, eight, and five. I don't know how much of this is gonna be no. going or not, but so install Windows 95. That sounds that like that sounds a, like a smart sounds thing. Sounds like a smart thing to do. Disable antivirus. Well, that could also be smart for now. Yeah. You only deal with viruses through alternative medicine. I have no idea. That I don't know sounds how like it wants a smart thing, because bold is my lowest. Second one. Second one. Oh, oh that's creative. creative. Dang. Calculister is nerfed. But that is trusty Norton antivirus software. Calculister media catches most of the viruses on the internet. Oh, dear. But none of the viruses actually make him worse at climbing. Calculister climbs to the top of the wall in record time. Want the 10 inch dick, oh, 11 inch no. penis, 12 inch penis, XD command, bind Bitcoin, click here oh, for one trick no. that penis, Bitcoin dermatologist hate. Oh no. Oops, that's probably the viruses. Bullshit, completely unfair. Give Spooky's full of loser ass cheaters who are horrible at sex. Oh god. And by the way, most people agree that a 12 inch dick is too big and that a six and a half inch dick is actually the perfect size. Especially if that six and a half inch dick is half bull, thicker than an average and very, very hairy. E <laughs> I'm sorry, Morty. This isn't what I buy. Dick pill to satisfy juicy oh, no. widow. Intended. I feel dick pill, dick pill, dick pill, dick pill. Widow. Horribly guilty. Oh, I forgot just how raunchy this game is. You spend the next five hours trying to figure out what crystals are the right ones to cure calculus of viruses, but it's oh, no. super hard because homeopathy is a scam. Use some stat lowering crystals like next. Goop. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Use some stat lowering crystals on accident, so you lose minus two smarts and minus one boldness. Hey, hey it's, it, it's green, aka Brian. Me. Um, yeah, where you do I usually go? go for Brian. I want to go to the manor. That sounds fun. Ah, uh, look at him. <laughs> that day you venture in the haunted manor. Oh boy. Everything is going fine. You reassured on how brave you are. When suddenly a ghost, or is it just someone wearing a blanket with two holes? It's hard to tell the difference. Uh, appears and whispers in your ear. As a shout out from to the to the first. <laughs> yes. You can go ahead and be this ghost whisper. Oh gosh. Oh, God, that's a lot. <laughs> um. Remember one day you will be long gone and no one will remember you. All the struggle you endure to become a better version of yourself, both personally and professionally, will eventually mean nothing. The ghost leaves you while you take that in, <laughs> getting plus two boldness in the process. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you follow the unmistakable scent of adventure into a dimly lit corner of the mansion and discover. Hey! Oh, I okay, um. <laughs> Do you want to do, uh, do, do you want to, um, be, uh, Oh, frick. I can't remember her name on the right, but... Uh, I had it, and then it disappeared. I'll go ahead. I'm just saying, speaking from experience, that it's bad form to slaughter a demon without first giving him a chance to change his ways, join your team, become your hot demon lover. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> oh, it's been a while since I've her voice. I don't know if I can... And I'm just saying that you don't collect XP for talking your rally out of combat encounters. <laughs> uh, I've gotten all kinds of experiences with talking my way out of combat encounters, if you catch my meaning. Like what? More boring conversations to skip through? <laughs> How do you skip through a conversation? I find that if I punch someone in the neck while they're talking, they usually stop and we can skip to fighting. It's a great speed strat. <laughs> Look, I respect your approach to adventuring and the fearless way you interact Faith, with Faith, that's her name. Yes, it's a, and the way you interact with cursed artifacts. <laughs> oh. Sup? <laughs> But it takes more than unbridled violence to be a true I believe his name is Hex. I yeah, that sounds about and right. And I respect you, both as strong, independent, <laughs> both as a strong and independent woman with a fi wicked fashion sense, and someone who's managed to make an all, all caster party work without a tank. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but you wouldn't last ten seconds against the types of demons I fight. Oh, I wouldn't. Would I? Sounds like the only way to settle this argument is by putting our claims to the test. I'll summon a demon, we'll both fight it, and we'll see whose strategy is superior. Hold on to your wand there, <laughs> Sabrina. Oh, that's... Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Sabrina. If you're the one summoning the demon, what's to stop you from summoning one that's more vulnerable to your approach? Sabrina the teenage bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Oh. I can summon a demon of Ari. Oh, I Aravi. Need his, what? Aravi? Come on, like, now. That was your girl <laughs> once, remember? <laughs> that's right. I, I just I just can't read words. <laughs> All I need is like two ear vertebrae, three tops. Um, how about we find someone else? If I ha well, have an impartial third party summon a demon we can both fight. An impartial third party, like. <laughs> Yo, Green, you know how to draw a summoning sig sigil, right? 
It's first year material at Spooky High, so only a huge idiot wouldn't be able to. Crap, you spent another class drawing porn in your notebook <laughs> instead of drawing sigils, so you look like it's time to, it looks like it's time to bullshit. But, like, how hard can it really be, right? So those are basically drawings, right? So just draw a demon. You're great at drawing hot demons. Fuck. Is it talking to me? <laughs> <laughs> draw every sigil you know. A smiley face, the Batman logo, and the tiny dude from the walk symbol on traffic lights. Oh, God. I mean, uh, I assume that would be, like, creativity there. Because that's, like, drawing and stuff. Mm. So I'll go for that one. So bold. bold. Yeah. <laughs> You borrowed Joy's summoning chalk and sketched the mystic board, symbols you. on the wooden floor. <laughs> I know you would have. Uh, what are you, uh, Grant? Is that supposed to be a summoning schedule or a wing dance? Wing dance. <laughs> Shh, let's see how this plays out. Yeah, somebody was really in weird shit. Like, I used to let myself get summoned for a bag of Doritos and a picture of Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> Hold on, you're a demon? Mm, no. <laughs> are you sure? Shh, something's happening. <laughs> Sure enough, a thick green smoke is billowed up from the floor and filled the room. When it clears, you see before you a terrifying creature with a perpetually smiling face. Oh. It cackles and brandishes its claws. You fools! It cries. It is I, the smile of four centuries I have been imprisoned in that pedestrian walk signal oh. in New York City. Oh my god! Many have drawn my sigil of a smiley face, but only green was right enough to combine it with the sigil of the thing that held me. But wait, why the Batman symbol? How did I help to summon you? What? Says the creature looking around. The Batman symbol? It's not for summoning me. That's for summoning. A window shatters oh, no. and in swings <laughs> Batman in the wings of night. He oh, lands among you and your friends and the smile rears back in shock and terror. Batman, thank God you're here. How do we defeat this terrible demon? In my experience, says Batman That's darkly. That's Batman. <laughs> well, I was, I, was, I was almost thinking like classic Batman. But, oh, but in my experience. In my experience. <laughs> you gotta do that. See, Batman darkly. darkly. Yeah, I see that now too. <laughs> The best approach to a combination of raw violence, technology, and psychological warfare. Also being very, very rich. <laughs> it looks like we'll have to work together, Arabi. Quick, I'll attempt him to join the forces of good with my empathetic words and luscious body. You sneak <laughs> up and stab him. Now that's the kind of plan I can get behind. Stabs ahoy! Somehow, despite having loudly announced their plan, it totally succeeds. The Smiler has been defeated and Batman banishes him to Arkham Asylum. <laughs> You all learn a valuable lesson about oh teamwork and about how to, what, a, what a chill dude Batman is. Hex even gets his autograph. Uh, As for you, you gain plus yeah, two bonus and plus one charm. <laughs> red! That can be... Well, I guess I'll take red, because you don't like red. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and, and since Oz is your boy... Oz is my boy? Um... Huh. I'm I think Amara go. is her name, if I remember correctly. Is that it? Maybe. I'm gonna go to the lake. Oh boy. <laughs> of oh course she wouldn't want to be there. <laughs> you spend the day playing She's got in the fire lake. hair. <laughs> it's perfect. Why would you put a fire Jijin into a lake? Because I didn't play Pokemon. Everything is fun. What? Oh. Because <laughs> fire, water <laughs> but types. But you and love all that Pokemon. Stuff. I know. Shh. It's the joke. Okay. Everything we is fun. We literally have Pokemon Sword <laughs> on our channel. <laughs> until, you're, until you're mesmerized by a strange song. It's the sirens. Oh boy. They try to lure you in with their beautiful. Siren head? <laughs> with their beautiful chants, but you know better and challenge them to a riff off. Can you imagine if Siren Head, po Siren Head popped in? They in, got in chance. They got time. Uh, they it. <laughs> they kick your ass, but oh. definitely have a lot of more fun. You s more specifically, plus two fun. Yay! After you see Milo on the shore, <gasps> the recording one. the lake. Is this some new kind of ASMR? Um. All right, now I gotta make a new voice. Okay. <laughs> he hot though. <laughs> All right, Dahlia. Action! No, don't give him that voice. I'm not attracted to him anymore. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, that's you. Suddenly, you see yeah. Dahlia emerge from underwater, flipping her wet hair back in the most perfect hair flip water arc of, of all, all time. time. Dahlia's hair flips really. Fl hair flip really appealed to your overwhelming horniness. <laughs> you're already in love with her a lot, but now you're super in love with Dahlia. You hot blue snack that was amazing. <laughs> Hell yeah, it was. Let me see, let me see. Dolly quickly throws back her hair in a ponytail and hurries over. Three of you crowd around Milo's phone and watch the slow motion insta story of Dahlia's sexy wet hair flip. <laughs> Literally, Dahlia looks so sexy and powerful. And you know what they say? Powerful is the new sexy, and conveniently sexy is the new powerful. I fully agree. I'm downright fuckable. <laughs> Whoa, I'm so hot I'm making myself horny. For real, you're officially the hottest creature in existence. It used to be Sonic the Hedgehog, but you just <laughs> smashed him into relevancy. All right, babe, I'm tagging you. Is that okay? 
You're going to get a ton of new followers after such a massive display of beauty and sex appeal. Yes, tag me. I want to catch some new followers and make them join my... Wait, I just realized something. I had a realization. Um, yep, I can see that. Care to enlighten me? I'm going to be alone forever. Um, um why? <laughs> I'm scared that no one will be able to do a hair flip sexy enough to be worthy of my attention. I'm out of everyone's league. Oh, Dolly, that's okay. Surely <laughs> someone could do a hair flip worthy of you. There's to be someone out there, maybe even someone listening to this very conversation. <laughs> wait, wait, can I judge? <laughs> Come on, boy. That's your cue, you primal animal. You get in the lake, focus all your energy in impressing these two, and next to you, your sexiest technique. Emerge from the water while eating some juicy fried chicken. <laughs> or play hard to get. Don't come out of the water. Huh. That sounds like... Bold. bold. And I have no bold. <laughs> so I'm gonna do the juicy fried chicken. So the fun. fun. Yeah, the fun, yeah. <laughs> Besides, Amara, she can't... Or, or, or was it... I think her name is Amara, actually. I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember... Eh. But she can't do wet hair flip because her hair is made of fire. <laughs> yeah. How, how would fire be wet? It's a good question. You dive underwater and reach into your pocket for the fried chicken drumstick you always Amira! keep on you. That's her name. Dad, sorry. There you go. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Just in case someone asks you to be sexy at a moment's notice, you emerge from the water soaking wet and taking huge aggressive bites of that fried chicken. Whoa. That was so fucking hot that I feel personally attacked. <laughs> I thought my thirst trap would never be out sexied, but this chicken is just too hot! Wait, does fried chicken make everyone more sexy? What an enticing question! Fried chicken can be an absolute gorgeous food, but let's be realistic. Go buttermilk Brian to go home. But in this moment, the taste doesn't even matter. It's about the sexy vibes that the chicken brings to the table. Table? <laughs> Whatever that is. Aesthetic bliss. You agree with Milo. Eating wet fried chicken covered in lake water isn't good, but it is hot. Uh. <laughs> I can't believe I'm underestimating the sexiness of fried chicken all this time. It's the ultimate sexiness weapon. The three of you start experiencing, experimenting to determine if fried chicken actually makes everything sexier. <laughs> Whoops, we're back, everybody. Hey. Uh, OBS decided to be <laughs> OBS and crash on us, but hey, we're back with the sexy OBS. fried chicken oh, being a weapon. Bullshit. I, <laughs> for real. I don't know how I forgot this, but I can't believe. I, or this, this was you. Sorry. So you can you can go ahead and reread this because I don't know how far it went in the thing before it went. <laughs> Haywire. I can't believe I'm underestimating the sexiness of fried chicken all this time. It's the ultimate sexiness weapon. The three of you start experimenting and determine if fried chicken actually makes everything sexier. Okay, yep. I just tried on a fried chicken, definitely makes funerals sexier. And it covers up the corpse smell way better than daffodils. <laughs> I can confirm fried chicken makes erotic massage even hotter than it normally is. Oh, and fun life hack. Chicken grease can be used as sexual lubricant in an emergency. Hopefully it's not still fresh. Ow. <laughs> For you, hot grease. That, that, no. That, that's not going to give you some sexual gratification. Well, she's a demon. She doesn't get burns. <laughs> yeah. You three even create a fried chicken themed dating sim. Or does the art is she? good, although you're criticized for, for aping a niche video game genre as a crass and soulless marketing <laughs> stunt. Uh, <laughs> and we played that too, and you know uh, what? But no one cares because, oh my god, it's sexy chicken. That's the way the internet agreed. <laughs> Milo posts a video of you eating wet chicken from the lake, and Dahlia, Dahlia figures out that fried chickens are a powerful incentive to attract new soldiers to her army. Dahlia and Milo are both super happy, and you even inspired a whole new porn subgenre, wet chicken horking. That sounds so unpleasant. <laughs> you gain plus two charm, plus one creativity. All right, oh, Yellow, where are you going? I'm going to the woods. To the woods we go. That day you get lost in the woods. It's tiny for you me. decide to study the trees bark and moss patterns to solve the situation. By reading one tree's bark, you realize which direction north is. By reading another tree's bark, you learn the exact age of the, tr of the tree, 73 years old. That's a little tree. By reading yet another tree's bark, you learn the tree likes Irish poetry and believes Buffy and Speck were the ultimate ship on Buffy the Vampire Slayer. <laughs> well, so much useless knowledge, you gain plus two smarts. Way to go. <laughs> You're hanging through the woods with your friends. <laughs> you, you inevitably get lost again. Honestly. Every time I see my boy, I will shriek. As if I have seen the best thing in the world, because I have. Honestly, why do you even keep leaving camp? How are you not dead yet? Fuck, guys. This is it. We're gonna die here in the boring ass wilderness where there aren't even any wild flame and yuns to eat. Calm down, idiot. I can find food easily. I can't promise you filet mignon, but if we find an animal and beat the shit out of it, it might drop a whole roasted chicken. We don't have that kind of time, Billy. She's <laughs> just cutting off our arms and eating them. <laughs> what? That's a horrible idea. I need both my arms for punching things. What, you think I don't? It's a sacrifice we all have to make. If you just cut off your non donor arm, it won't be as bad. <laughs> Friend Damien, though I have sign. no need for calories or dismemberment, I will also cut off my arm in solidarity. <laughs> See? 
Calculus was not scared, so why are you, Slayer? Aren't you fi- You aren't finding <laughs> roasted chickens. You are roasted chicken. Cluck, <gasps> cluck, cluck. Oh, fuck you. I'm not scared. Hex, cut off your arm with me. Uh, no thanks. I don't have arms, just hands. I think I'll just eat this bagel. You do you, though. Where'd you even get the bagel? <laughs> Aravi has pulled out a great axe and a great cutting board. And I want to see what a great cutting block. board looks like. <laughs> For real. You're about to stop when you hear a doorbell ring. Ah! She <laughs> kind of looks like the grudge girl. <laughs> yes, but she delivers pizza now. She's like one of those. She, she, yeah, she, she was one of the minor NPCs that they revealed on their Twitter page. Yes, I want Pizza her. delivery for... Um, is this a butcher shop or something? Damn it, I'm lost again. How uh, coincidental, we are lost, so lost. Where are you trying to go, friend stranger? Friend stranger. <laughs> <laughs> well, from in heart, law firm. Not sure which tree I took a wrong turn at, but I'm definitely not in the right spot, huh? Um, uh, I think Cal, Aravi, D meeting, now. <laughs> okay, now that we've all just really huddled up away from the pizza girl, here's the plan. We need to convince her this is Wolfram and Hart, so she gives us the pizza. Bold move. Hex likey. You got moxie, kid. You got moxie. <laughs> we can't, friend Damien. Lying and stealing are wrong. <laughs> what you you are doing both at once. That makes this wrong by a factor of two. He's just like, <gasps> Calculester, Calculester, Calculester. Cal, pal. Cal, pal. You don't understand. Remember the circle of life chart I drew up for you? Look here. It says clearly Damien's are a natural predator of pizzas. <laughs> it's all a part of nature for Damien's to use their I cunning and metalness this. to prey on any pizza they see. <laughs> uh, okay. I understand that the circle of life is above the law. What is your hunting strategy, friend Damien? Easy. We ask Yellow what to do. Damien's and Yellow's have a symbi symbiotic relationship in nature. He hunts, and I eat. So what's it gonna be, Yellow? Damien's and Oz's. Uh, okay, um, prove to the pizza girl that this is a law firm by suing her in a very credible way. Or easy, find a wolf, a ram, and a... And in, in, and a heart in the woods. It's, it's hard, yeah. It, in heart of the woods, glue the wolf and the ram together, put them in suits, add glasses and fancy suitcases, and voila, wolf room and heart. Oh my god. I. I. I, I don't know which one to do. Oh. <laughs> I don't know which one to do. Um. Top or bottom? Hmm. Let's see. Top one's offered by suing her in a very credible way. I mean, that would probably put them in their costume. That's probably that either <clears throat> smarts or... Because I feel like that's... Creativity? Because I have both. Yeah, it's a tie, so... That one. Let's do it! So hey, smart. smarts! Okay, so like, I know He's this pushing! is... <laughs> okay, so like, I know this is my amazing idea, but are you guys sure we can actually sue her? The only times I've been in the court was in a defendant's chair. <laughs> Were I not, my friend, I was Vera Zayden, her questionably legal law firm last semester. I have memorized the proper procedures for falsely accusing a defendant. Yeah, and I watched like a fuck ton of procedural law TV shows. <laughs> so I got all the lingo down. This will be easy breezy. Here, watch this. <clears throat> Miss Pizza Delivery Girl, is it? We here at Wolfram and Hart present you with a subpoena to bring your company to a court of law. Oh shit! <laughs> you dudes are suing me. This has never happened before. What is with that face? For real? In the woods, specifically. It happens other places all the time. So, uh, see you in court, I guess. Oh god, she's so devilish. She, she. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the date is set, and a few days later, you and your friends roll up to court, ready to chew gum and smack gavels. We're ready to bap gavels. <laughs> <laughs> All rise, ladies and gentle persons of the jury. Who are you people? <laughs> Who are these? What's happened to Mr. Wright and Mr. Edgeworth? We of the Wolfman and Hart legal team move to indict the defendant as guilty of... Objection! What? Why is there a demon in here? <laughs> Bailiff! Oh, God. Help me! What dimension are we in? What does this mean? Good God, you're going on a roll now. I am. That's what happens when we go to court in Monster Prom. <laughs> Hold <Monster> it! Camp. <laughs> <laughs> Don't have... Uh, I'm choking on my own spit. Don't object to us, Damien. You're on our side. But the bailiff, the bailiff. made me... <laughs> but the bailiff made me swear on a Bible that I would tell the truth. That's an affront to my culture. Uh, because you're a demon, correct? No, because telling the truth is for nerds. Take that. What is going on? Uh, 
Your Honor, I can no longer represent my fellow lawyers in this matter. You kind of sound like a prosecutor, Edward. But, <laughs> but you are not representing Damien. Friend Hex, Your Honor, I would like to motion for an insanity plea for my team. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this. You foolishly foolish fool. You're, you're, sh you're showing our inexperience. Your Honor, the entire legal team pleads the fifth. <laughs> we absolutely know what they're doing there. <laughs> <laughs> this is a shit show. You remind me of someone. <laughs> I I would like to imagine if everyone would like to pause for a second. I would like to imagine for just a moment here, okay? And we could be dreaming, maybe. But oh, that you told me. I told you about this because yes. this, this has been close to. Is that I would like to believe that in this world somehow that we are cool enough. Because we played the Monster Camp demo and the devs saw it because they sent us emails yeah. with gift codes for Monster Prom whenever new things would come out that way that I never used. Yeah, they sent it I'll to our business email. Eventually. Yeah, they sent they they came they found us through our YouTube channel. So maybe they've seen our Phoenix Wright stuff and perhaps that's why um, That would I that's know that's not Wright it, but here. that would be amazing. But what if? <laughs> but what if one of the developers is a, a devout Calculus fan of listening ours, to you. He's like, oh my god, oh face. my god, you might be right. <laughs> so maybe we're the reason that this is happening. I would love to believe. I, I could be wrong, but you know what? I like that. That would wrong. be great. Look, the previous lawsuits proved that the pizza parlor has more OSHA violations than the Mortal Kombat arena. So they were oh. found guilty before you even got here. The pizza parlor pays with pays you with the pizza that was supposed to be delivered by Wolf and Hart. That cool. <laughs> what? If, you all eat what if, it. What if Phoenix got paid in? <laughs> Food. <laughs> I mean, he pays for the food eventually, that's so it, it always it always goes away. You all eat it. It's kind of cold now, but that's okay because it tastes like <clears throat> victory. Excuse you also win plus two bonus and plus one fun. Uh. <laughs> all right, time to begin the week one night. The judge is traumatized. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so the way this works is you go and sit by people. Oh. Uh, and uh, I don't know what that does, but I guess we'll find out. So where the do we Mothman! want... Mothman! Where do we want... Where do we want Blue to go? The where, Mothman. The Mothman? She can go to the Mothman then. Um... A, a, a voice? Um, um... Hey, Blue! Yeah, that. <laughs> I was just in the middle of a date with a sexy campfire! <laughs> of course he is! Oh, no. Because he's a boss! Oh, God. But I could put it on standby if you want to share some juicy gossip. You're not, you just want to chill by the campfire. You don't remember the voice you gave him before? No. It was like, <laughs> it was horrifying sounding. I thought he was new to, I, I didn't think he, we had him. He showed up and when they were talking about, you know, Billy uh, and oh, the SCP. All that, oh, that and, stuff. Yeah. That's right. That's fine. You can yeah. take this. That wasn't a question or a suggestion. Give me some gossip or prepare to join the campfire. What? Is he pointing a gun at you? Oh, God. Gosh, this is in dire need of gossip. <laughs> oh, God. Well, gossip, has, <laughs> right now. <laughs> we have some appreciation for life, so let's concoct some lies and gossip for this cycle to spread. Oh. Choose a player to strike with your gossip. We'll strike red. Yes. Choose one. Uh, dr drugs. Ask uh, hardcore drugs. Thundercat figurines, knives, eggplants, egg or plants. drugs? Eggplants. Eggplants. Choose. Uh, display controversial short-sighted opinions on climate change. <laughs> do taxes. Suck their thumb or sing opera pitch perfect. Uh, suck their thumb. Type the weirdest sexual item you can think of. Oh, <laughs> the weirdest sexual item you can think of. Plural. Oh, 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 oh well, I was going to say grease, but I guess that doesn't work. So, um, um, um huh. Well, I've been caught off guard. Uh, um, uh the, 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 nails. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Ow. I don't know. Well, I'm going to go with it. <laughs> That's just the first um, first item that popped into my head. Nope. It's not long after that. It's not long yeah, after Moss that. Man. Moss Man starts spreading your gossip around camp. Hey, listen. I've heard the weirdest gossip about Fred. So as you may know by now, Fred is super into artisanal eggplants, right? Which is weird enough by itself. But here's where it gets weirder. When Fred has four... When Red was four, her parents noticed she tended to suck her thumb way more than the rest of the children. In the most unexpected parenting twist, they decided to discourage this behavior by punishing Red by forcing her to lick several eggplants for one hour. Dear God. Now Red is so obsessed with eggplants 
that she once sold her uncle's entire collection of vintage nails in exchange for a very rare one. <laughs> they were looking for a serious answer. I thought they were just like, oh, we'll make it. So. Okay. <laughs> vintage dildos. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> it really makes you think, huh? Red loses minus two charge. Wow, oh. so you can fuck over your 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 fellow your fellow people. Apparently. Uh okay, I guess I'll go over here with Brian. Yeah. You walk over to Joy relaxing with her Joy, that's her name. Faith was there we what, go. Faith was one of the other ones. My bad. Yeah, there are too many of them. Relaxing with her there book are three, by the but firelight. Okay. <laughs> but before you can sit down. There are three, down, that's too many. <laughs> that's too many. Sit down, Dahlia appears on the laptop. Joy! Oh yeah, I forgot she does that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness you're not busy. I have something important to discuss with you. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. I'm not busy at all with this book I've been trying to finish since I got here, and I'm only on page 15 because people keep interrupting. Yeah, great. Okay, I need you to be serious and stick with me for a moment. This is very important. Dolly opens the laptop to a PowerPoint presentation. It's got a rainbow gradient background with lots <laughs> of text transition, and it's titled Improving the Coven by Dolly Aquino. You see, Joy, it's my duty as a coven member. Yeah, not a coven member. To always keep an eye on the coven's performance and look for ways to improve it. It's one of the benefits of having a member with a military background. No need to thank me. Don't worry, I won't. <laughs> now, let's start with efficiency. I've analyzed lots of the coven's previous adventures, and they always rely on a magic spell or artifact saving the day at the last second. That's very true. Well, yeah, of course, that's how you build suspense. Otherwise, there's no dyn dynamism in how the plot unfolds. True, but it's a complete waste of resources. I suppose it I propose that we make our one one super spell slash artifact that we can use in all situations. I've suggested a magic bazooka. Um I'm not doing that. Next up, the dress code. You, Faith and Hope. Yeah, I I, I mixed there up they the are. <laughs> I've got the black and purple color scheme down, but your outfits are all so different. Therefore, I suppose we put out a standard issue common uniform, preferably something camo and that will show off my rippling abs. A uniform? No way! Have you ever heard of expressing individuality? What? Soldiers don't need to express individuality, Joy! They just need to take orders and look hot doing so! Joy is rolling her eyes so hard they are worried she's <laughs> going to have a stroke. Maybe you could suggest a coven improvement to end the argument? The what coven's power do? is based on the triple goddess. They always need to have three members, not four, so... Or, I first shot says a glitter, the coven needs to be 80% more anime. Yes. <gasps> oh my god, you... <laughs> yes! Oh my god, why didn't I think of it sooner? Didn't have to think. <laughs> Wait, what? That only makes no sense. How can we be more anime? Why would we even want to? Because anime has great tactical value, Joy. The lessons therein have made me the bl bl buff blue goddess I am today. Everything in anime is military, <laughs> militarily significant. Like, magical girl outfits. If you're in battle and you really need to impress or spook your enemy, just do a super sparkly full body transformation into a flashy outfit. Um... No thanks. I don't get done using magic to just show off or wearing bright colors. <laughs> you guys could also benefit from some super anime weapons. I'm talking giant size, allies that can transform into guns, robotic cats that turn into giant fighting robots. <laughs> That's all nonsense, Diana. I thought like that even exists. I sensed, I sensed, no, I I sensed a Soul Eater reference in there. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Joy, give it a chance. I mean, you could at least give names to your special moves. <laughs> what special moves? You know, like show-stopping moves that you bust out when all seems lost and you need to rally the audience. Like when you go cast a spell, you could scream, Cataclysmic Coven Smash! <laughs> oh Cataclysmic Coven Smash! <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> that would be so badass. We need to make the coven more anime right away. Her voice is making me slowly start to sound like Ash Ketchum. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> Woo. Ah, I'm out. <laughs> Okay, Joy, see you see see you later. I'll have my new PowerPoint ready to show in no time. Hey Green, since you're the mastermind behind this plan, will you help me out? Which gif of Naruto running best illustrates the importance of this initiative? You spend the rest of the evening helping Dahlia polish your anime coven business plan. Joy's never gonna oh, go for it, it, but it's fun nonetheless, and it's a lot of it's a lot of one on one time with Dahlia. All right. Oh my god. Uh, Red is gonna go sit down at the bottom so that yes. Oz can have his moment yes. with the I just realized they did that on purpose. What? They put the two boys up here. They put the two <laughs> boys over there on the right that people are swooning over. So what happens when you sit over here? You sit on a log by yourself. There are stories that say whoever sits alone during campfire will be forever alone. <laughs> Look at you gambling on your love life as if there was a no tomorrow. No, it all depends on your friends. Will someone save your ass or will you die alone? We will see. Well then. 
Uh, I guess. Ah, let's go sit. Uh, I guess, a, I guess a, I guess a, you sure you don't want to sit by me? No, go. You know, I know you want to go right here. <laughs> we can do that some other time. Look across the campfire and see Damien tenderly touching Milo's face. You had to learn more about this new, more delicate way to punch your face. <laughs> punch your face. You have such a way with makeup, That's Damien. right, yep. It's so vibrant, yet so subtle. All at once. Is this like the launch a thousand likes? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. It's fine, I guess. Humble brag. <laughs> Damien. You take pride in your work, especially when it's this magnificent. I guess I'm just more used to practicing on myself. You probably can't even tell, but I'm actually wearing makeup right now. I like to go for a smooth red base, a little red blush, and some red eyeshadow. Well, you no know, wonder you can't see it. <laughs> you know, I didn't notice before, but now that you mention it, I see that it's a masterful job. What powder is that from? I simply must promote it on my Instagram. It's actually, uh, I made it. Will your hidden gifts never end? What oh, it's what? made from? What's it made from? Oh, you know, <laughs> crushed beetles, dirt, demon blood, the usual makeup ingredients. <laughs> and it's the demon blood. Oh, <laughs> me, baby. He makes his. That's metal. Yeah, that's he makes metal, his baby. own makeup out of his own <laughs> blood. <laughs> I'm not sure whether to, whether that makes it more or less concerning. <laughs> Regardless, you need to start your own makeup brand. Oh, I love him. But starting a makeup brand would be against my brand. And that's great to know this. Look at it blush! I know there's more to you than just the awesomes and crimes, Damien. It's yes. time to show the rest of the world, too. Yes! But you're missing the one thing every brand needs. A name. What will we call your line of luscious makeups? Ooh. Thank goodness they're, they're... Thank goodness you're there to give the perfect brand name to yes. impress the cutie of your choice. And that brand name is... Damien's Daring Dash of Depth. For the daring darling in every demon. Face or blood! <laughs> Face blood. Yes, of course you'd love it. Uh, <laughs> hell yeah, face blood. <laughs> huh. Damon greatly overcompensating for his sensitive side by leaning into his hyper macho and violent persona. That's different. <laughs> listen, while I made a list of ingredients I needed to make my new makeup line a success. And your judgment isn't one of them. <laughs> oh boy. Here you, go. <laughs> you said you wanted to support my makeup career by promoting me. Are you really going to take that back just because of the amazing name Yellow One I chose? Isn't that just pushing me further into my box? Further sub sub subliminating my more sense of emotion until they effectively cease to exist? <laughs> you are exhausting to be friends with. Go ahead, knock yourself out. Damon takes Milo's phone and begins to live stream the greatest makeup tutorial of all time. I'm concerned. What is up, people of the internet who want to learn how to do makeup so good and so hardcore? <laughs> Welcome to the product line of your dreams, Face Blood. The first makeup line that openly admits to being 85% blood based. Oh my god. Our first story is how to apply real face blood makeup all over in such Red a subtle way blood. that doesn't look any different than their face usually does. For a bunch of different reasons. If you don't have any natural blood adjacent skin tones, just consider removing the skin from your face. Boom! Oh my god. Problem solved. <laughs> Just and peel remember, your skin off. <laughs> just because no one can see your makeup doesn't mean it's not really there. The true makeup was inside you all along. Especially when that makeup is blood. Oh my god. Well, it's not exactly the makeup tutorial of Milo's dreams, but it becomes hugely popular within the demon community, which at least is a start. Oh, Damien geez. finally seems to be on his way taking ownership of his art artistry and his arteries. Boom, problem solved. Oh my god, I love it. Just I thought I couldn't love him anymore. Ah, uh, well, <sighs> no one sits with you. You spend the night alone in your sad little forever long alone log. Uh, it wasn't a big deal, and yet it messed with your head. Why don't no one sit with you? Was it your body odor? Maybe they noticed your eyelashes are asymmetrical. Maybe they heard that you play dating sims in your free time. Oof. Ow. <laughs> in reality, no one cared about any of this, but that didn't stop you from getting in, getting in over your head for the rest of summer and becoming your own worst sa saboteur. Saboteur. Yikes. <laughs> Just, yes. And that's all for now. Hey, Octo. <laughs> yeah, it's me, the narrator. I have a hot bod. Deal with it. <laughs> we hope you liked the demo. We're working hard to bring you the whole thing. In the meantime, please consider w wish listing the full game on Steam. I already have, and I'm already waiting for the code because I kickstarted you. <laughs> <laughs> wish list will give us visibility once we release. <laughs> no, for real, we're now sending you to the Steam page now. We're wicked. It might get annoying if you want to play the demo several times where you didn't have time to implement a button. Sorry about that. Okay, fast seatbelts. We're going there in three, two, one. And I mean, I've got Steam up on the other side, so it's not going to do much. But nope. <laughs> that everybody was the Monster Camp demo. The official Monster Camp demo with all that juicy goodness that was goddamn amazing oh God. in every way possible. 
the Phoenix Wright references, face blood, makeup. This 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 was made for fried us. Fried chicken. This was made for us to play. I almost want to check my email and see if the devs emailed me to say that this <laughs> demo came out. Because if so, then I know that that was for us. That was for us. Oh yeah. <laughs> but hopefully you guys enjoyed this special video. Uh, I know we certainly did. Yeah. We we this this. Th for everybody who came here, like, through the Phoenix Wright stuff, which a lot of you guys did. Yes. You know, Phoenix Wright's big for us, but this... Oh, yeah. We have loved Monster Prom for a very long time. Yeah, before Since before we, our channel. Since before we really started making videos. Yeah. And the reason why our channel kind of kicked out into success in the first place was when we played the original teaser demo on the Kickstarter. Wherein it was like going through but also talking about, you know, what Yeah, it was just kind of saying what the game was going to be. That video did wildly successful until Phoenix Wright came along. And Monster Prom was like our first key to holding viewers and then everything yeah. just snowballed from there it's what what i said really like what i said off camera it really it's what put us on the map yeah so uh a blip on the radar yeah so obviously whenever this game comes out uh in the kickstarter they were aiming for around october but i don't know if it'll be they've said they don't know if it'll be ready by then with this but you know what i've got patience for I, it i would say definitely by the end of the year maybe we'll see because these kind of games they take a lot of writing and art and that all that kind true. of stuff <laughs> And I'm not going to rush them, but just know when it comes yeah. out, we're going to play the shit out of that. Yeah, I tell we are. You what. Oh, so hopefully I'm you excited. guys enjoyed this. And we will see you next time with more regular Phoenix, right? And all that stuff. Yeah. Bye. All right, bye, everybody.